I am having one heck of a day today. I've been running around trying to, there's been tons of clouds going across the sky today, but no light. It was all during midday. And I thought, well, we're going to have a heck of a sunset tonight. And then the wind kicked up and blew all the clouds out, except one little patch. And I, I chased it down and we're getting, we're getting almost to, to uh, sunset right now. And these clouds are going to light up. Let me show you what else I found. Sometimes you see a lot of, I take a lot of pictures of cactus and stuff like that. And I, I live probably, I don't know, two miles right over there. I've never been down this road. I came down this road tonight chasing these clouds. And look what I found. Look at that tree. Look at that thing. awesome we've got all this the sun is the sun is just it's just about 20 minutes from going down below the mountain and all of these clouds up here are going to kick off with light but look at all the side light on that on that tree right now the sun is shining on there it's on shadow on one side and it's just lighting up that one side of that tree i'm going to take this shot right here i got this I got my camera set up here Turn this rascal on. Let's see what we're doing here. Oh, sorry about that. Let's see what we're doing here. Uh, okay, F8. F8, and I'm focusing. I'm focusing right on the on the tree itself. I may have. I may have to brighten that up a little bit, but. That's my composition. And the wind has stopped. So I'm just gonna wait. Maybe I'll move over a little bit, but there's some junk and stuff over there. I don't want that in the shot. I kinda, I kinda like this right here. If those kick off and get all pink and orange and red, and that's gonna look really cool. See all the junk lane over there? There's an old like a water tank and a bunch of old concrete and stuff like that. I mean, some of it is in the shot behind it, but you can't, you can't help that. All right, I'm just gonna wait here a minute and uh, for a few minutes and see what these clouds do. This is really cool. Hopefully those, there's a starting to burn orange right now. They're starting to, the light is catching the sides of those clouds right there. Look at that big puffy white one up there. That looks pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna give it a few minutes and see what we see what we get here. I don't know if we're gonna make it. The wind is kicked up and it's 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 breaking up our clouds. I don't know if we're gonna get this shot. I changed my composition a little bit. If you look, if you look up there, I'm I'm looking at a shot kind of like kind of like that. See how the clouds are just pointing at the they're just pointing at the tree. Oh, if they just stick around long enough to. If they just stick around long enough to get us some color, ah, they're really breaking up now. That that tree is right in the middle of all those clouds, and it, it looks like it looks like they're all pointing at the at the at the tree. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep taking these shots. Let's see if I can. Do something that that cloud right there is just kicking off right now. It's chicken my battery, my battery's getting ready to die on this thing. 
Oh, they're all breaking up. I know I got a couple shots in here that I can use. With a little bit of editing, it's gonna look really cool. But I really wanted those clouds to, to kick off and I don't think we're gonna get it because they're breaking up. But here's a lesson for you. Just keep shooting. Oh, just keep shooting. Because the conditions don't always, things don't always work out. The best laid plans of mice and men. There was a dragonfly. What the heck is a dragonfly doing in a desert? You're lost. Holy cow. We'll hang around here a little bit and see what happens. But don't be discouraged if the uh, if it doesn't pan out. Those would have been just fine if this wind wouldn't have kicked up, but I can't control the wind, so I'm not gonna get too upset about it. But I know where this tree is now. And when the conditions are right, I'm gonna be back here and I'm gonna get another shot of this thing. Whenever I'm out and about, I always, and I find something like this tree, a subject that I wanna, I wanna come back and photograph when the light is right, or when I have more time or whatever. I keep a little journal and I write that stuff down where it is because my memory is not like it used to be. And I just got to check this thing. Um, my memory is not like it used to be. So a little tip for you is when you see a cool subject or a cool composition and the lighting's not right or the conditions aren't right, you can always go back. Rock outcroppings, mountains, they're not going anywhere. This tree has been here for a long time. And unless some bug gets in there and kills it, or gets struck by lightning, or whatever, it's going to be here for a long time. Not forever, but it's going to be here for a long time. And I'm going to get more shots of this, because it's, it's not that far away from my house. Alright, yeah, take a look at our clouds now. See how they all broke up? They were those big puffy clouds and I was just hoping that they would they would stand stand there and wait for the light to catch them but it didn't do it. We still got awesome light on the side of that tree. All right. Let's see if I can do something with the earlier ones. Oh, there's looks at this fence right here. There's a fence right here. What are we doing with this fence right here? Wait, hang on a second, I gotta do some adjustments. I don't know if this is gonna work on. Adjust my. I gotta take a couple shots for this. We're gonna take a shot for the ground. We have this fence coming right out of the corner of the frame, and then I'm gonna uh, let's see, I'm gonna back the shutter speed down and get a get a, a shot for the sky. Maybe we can blend them together and do something with that. We'll see. All right. Oh, this. Look at this. Look at all the purples in there. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to stick with this. I don't think we're going to get the shot that I wanted, but... Nah, those, those are all busted up. Uh, well, it was a fun chase anyway. So, my tip is, when you, when you see something like this, when you see a subject like this that you want to come back, write it down. Put it in your phone, whatever. So you can come back and when the conditions are right, when you're staring outside and you're just thinking, wow, the sun is on that side over there and hey, that would be perfect for that tree. It's only two miles away. I'm going to head over here and get another shot. So, all right, guys, take it easy. Get out there and take some pictures. See you next time. Thanks.
I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. 